Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about the tab order, tab stop, and cycle properties so you can properly tab through the controls on your Microsoft Access Forms. Eddie from the Netherlands writes, I cannot find a way to deselect text inside the first field of the record on opening a form. How do I do this? Well, Eddie, there is a way to actually deselect that text, but I'm assuming you want to do this because you're worried someone's going to open a form and hit a key and change that text. So let me show you a couple of better ways that you can get around this problem without having to worry about actually deselecting the text. With creative use of your tab order, your tab stop, and your cycle properties, you could probably make your problem go away. So here I have my basic customer database that I use for classes. And if I open up my customer form, you can see I've got customer ID, first name, last name, a notes field, and a contacts button to open up the contacts form. But notice when I first open the form, my focus is sitting there on the customer ID. Now that's usually how I like it. And as I tab through, it goes to each field in return like that. That's called the tab order. Now I usually recommend leaving the initial tab order on an ID field like that because if your user accidentally starts typing something, nothing's going to happen. You cannot edit an auto number. I don't often like opening a form so that that's the first field because then if they start accidentally typing or they hit a key, that happens. And if they don't know enough to hit escape to cancel that edit, then you're going to lose some data. So my recommendation for you is just leave the initial tab stop as the customer ID field or whatever ID field you have in your database. If you don't want to show the ID for any number of reasons that I've talked about in other videos, you could have the tab order start on some other control like this contacts button. Let me show you how to change the tab order first of all. Let's go to design view and I'm going to bring up the design tab here and go over to tab order. Now here you will see a list of all the controls on your form. All right. Customer ID, first name, last name, notes, and then Command 25 is my little command button on the bottom there. And of course, I can't click over here to show it to you. The tab order is a pop-up modal window. Now you can rearrange these guys. I can click on this, for example, and drag it up to the top. See that? You have to kind of click on it like that. You can select multiple items if you want to, right? Or click and drag. And then once you've got them selected, you can click and drag them like that, okay? I can hit Auto Order to arrange them. It goes left to right, top to bottom. If I had two columns here, it would go here, then here, then here, then here, then here. Okay, so I'm going to auto order these and let's put the command button on top. That is now first in the tab order. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close my form and save it. Now look when I open up, it starts off with my control down here, the context button that's highlighted because it's first in the tab order. And now if I hit tab, it brings me up to the top. See that? Because this is now one, two, three, four, five, and so on. All right, now if I keep tabbing, look what happens. It goes to the next record. That's called the tab cycle. The default cycle is when you tab past the last control on a form, it goes to the next record. You can change that too. Back to design view. Bring up the forms properties, double click right there. Go to the other tab and look for cycle. And it says all records, drop that down and pick current record. When you, when you tab past the last control on this form, it will go back to the top. So in this situation, you're going to start off on contacts, tab, 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 and it now it just cycles through that record. That's actually how I kind of prefer it most of the time. And you can start your tab down here, you can start your tab order down here, and then tab back through. Now there's one more thing you can do to make this even more user friendly. If you don't want customer ID being a tab stop, so when you hit tab, it doesn't even go there, you can change something called the tab stop property. Again, design view, open up the properties for this box, find tab stop on the other tab, and then change that to no. Now when I open it up, I start off on contacts, and when I hit tab, it goes right to Richard in the first name field. It doesn't stop at ID. See that? And that's how I recommend doing it if you don't want it to open up to a field and look like that. That is tab order, tab stop, and tab cycle. Now you know everything there is to know about tabbing through the controls. Well, 
almost everything there is to know about tabbing through the controls on a form. If you want to learn more about tab order, tab stop, and the cycle property, I cover them all in my Access Beginner Level 8 class. I'll put a link in the description below the video. Want to learn a little more about this stuff? In the extended cut for members, I show you how to tab to a field like that notes field and put the cursor at the end of the field. So instead of having the whole thing selected, it just moves the cursor at the very end. I also teach you how to select the first word. So for example, you can see in the second box there, it selected the word didn't. That's handy, for example, if you got names in a field, you can go tab, tab, and it will select that first name for you. So that's in the extended cut members edition. How do you become a member? Just click on that join button below my video. If you're watching on YouTube, you get access to the extended cut tech help videos like that one I just mentioned. If you're a silver member and up, you also get access to live video and chat sessions and some other perks. If you click on the join button, you'll see all the different membership levels that are available. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming for free. I'm going to keep making them as long as you keep watching them. If you like this video, make sure you click on the thumbs up, give me a like and a share. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you get notifications every time I release a new video. Got any questions? Drop it in the comments below. And if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, watch it right now. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. It's three hours long. It's free. You can find it on my website or on YouTube. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's another whole hour-long course. And it's free for members. If you'd like to see your question answered in a video like this, visit my Tech Help page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.